Whoa, it's Woolsey. Whoa, Sonic is an insane demon built with 1.9 limitations that I verified on stream two days ago. I've heard that it's good and that it's bad, but one thing I'm proud of for sure is the fact that the last two parts came from the same stream as the verification. This whole biz came from a live stream I did here on YouTube, which was extremely fun to put on and will hopefully be done more in the future, so leave a like and subscribe if you're down for this so you don't miss these gamer moments together. This part, obviously I haven't shown at all, but it needs to be deleted. Number one, it doesn't work half the time, the slopes are just really stupid, and number two, the audio is messed up. So when I was recording this building video, I had Spotify on with my own music, I forgot to mute it on the recording, so I'm going to delete this entire part. Even though I'm really happy with it, I have to record everything I do. Otherwise, it didn't happen. This was a kicker, but nonetheless, I pulled through with fresh gameplay and visuals too, trying to mimic flashy styles made back in the day. Before showing my swing cop to calamities, I'll quickly brush through this process, because yeah, I think it went pretty smoothly. There's not really much else to say here. And then we're going to have a bunch of details inside the blocks, like these pyramid objects. So let me give you an example of like what the colors are gonna do. You see, we're gonna have like a little bit of a rainbow party going on. I gotta think about this. I wanna have other pillars that I'm placing inside the blocks to make them a bit more dense. Considering there's no base blocks or anything, I've got a lot of freedom to do what I want here. And I think what I want is to place a couple of invisible objects in a pillar like this that I can stick up here. Uh, I can probably add more of these blocks inside here and then put pulsing squares. Let's add these little spoke objects. One and three and then in in the middle we're gonna have a pulsing circle that's really big to try and make this colorful and interesting somewhat so my next decoration is going to be using these custom chain objects if i can find them yeah i'm going to start rotating them this was a very common piece of decoration in 1.9 so one two three and four so we have like a custom rainbow chain it's funny in chat just every so often seeing the message woolsey's balls with no context whatsoever finally woolsey makes a good level again there was no need <laughs> okay i'm kind of in my bag right now i'm just like absent-mindedly decorating and everything seems to be going well and i love it when this happens in creating. Whoa! <laughs> I just teleported. Alright, so we're gonna have one, two, three, four. I'm gonna make a little pattern that's gonna go around in a circle. By mixing different 3D lines, chains, and pulsing objects, setting them to the same color channel, and copy pasting them around in a circle, we could make some pretty interesting patterns to go around the portals as we transition into this wing copter. This is color channel one. I gotta get rid of this deco, unfortunately. Neat! I got it to work. Awesome. This is the first swing copter I've ever made, so you can't blame me for trying, right? Please no swing copter, I wanted to beat this. Is that how it is? Let's make the top section filled with one, two, three, four blocks, similarly to the last part. Okay, well, one, two, three, and then we can have four be like this. That's gonna put glow here, and I can put 3D behind them. Make this very skeletal up top. That's the goal. 3D can also fade on at this point. Yeah, we can have 3D like this up at the top, and also invisible blocks. Let's do something like this. And then we gotta put orb, orb, orb. Oh, wait. I can't have blending. No blending object allowed. That looks cool. What the heck? The pulses here are very simple. They just flash on and then they flash off. And I ended up changing the colors when they flash on. So it goes to a light yellow and such. I could honestly just take this cube design, honestly. All right. This is smooth so far. I'm copy pasting blocks for now, but I am gonna make other surroundings too. So don't worry. And see, why didn't it go up there? Yeah, I don't like that. What? Why does it sometimes just not work? It's just how swing copter works. It's because the ball is on the floor. No, but sometimes it works and so- What the heck? So I can't use the ceiling? That sucks. That's actually terrible. I am still going to use the ceiling. I'm just going to put a pad instead. So we have our base blocks changing color here. That looks nerdy, dude. Let's put a slope to force you down onto that block. Oh, and then- Oh, dude, I've just thought of some insane gameplay. Hold on. I need to leave the gameplay line like that while I figure this out. This could be insane. So we go up into the portal at the top. Oh, it doesn't. That's so unfortunate. Okay, so bear with me, guys. So I put a portal up here, maybe. Yeah, beautiful. So we go through this portal and then we skip a couple of these blocks, right? Oh, I'm gonna have to remove the invisible part of them, but that's fine. There's a lot of the structuring, I do admit. And then I put fake outlines, fake outlines. And I need fake blocks too. So detail three detail one so two is here and then a block here that's gonna be one and then a three and then a two and then a one so you go up top and then you go out this way right that's a cool ending oh boy oh we're almost two hours into the stream so i like the idea of just having a bunch of lines like this with the occasional spike it's gonna be like one 
and the detail, not the base, because that's not allowed. And we can reuse this kind of structure here especially and kind of thread this line down. It's going to make sure I put spikes on every end so we don't accidentally land on a platform and allow it because we know how buggy it is when you allow that kind of thing. And then honestly, we can put a structure here that's just a black block. If we move this sort up. We're going to get creative with our structuring here. We're going to have a good mix of blocks to really say goodbye to 1.9, even though it's middle of 2.1 but it's okay and i can shoot this line across for sure am i tired no actually i'm pretty hyped i feel like i can just keep streaming until this is done now i wasn't too sure at the start of the stream i'm not gonna lie but now i'm like i'm really into it i'm like i'm getting going i'm getting fired up you know let me set out the swords before i forget the cover areas that i can't with other objects i've chosen a very strange style to create with towards the end but it's one that i didn't really tap into in the series and kind of I, I didn't re i didn't feel bad but i kind of regretted not trying it out more liney style <laughs> what else can you really call it cool we're making progress now this is looking good Do i put glow on this object why not adds a bit of extra color to it need arrows and all sorts someone asked for click indicators i'm not sure if i'm gonna do that so i'm trying to make this pretty damn difficult i'm gonna do something funky with the block on the right i will back up two pieces of glow the same glow that i've been using on two move it two blocks to the left so it has a thin stripe where the glow is overlapping so it has a line stopping you from skipping it i'll probably use this more often as the part goes on to stop the blocks from getting too repetitive just gotta keep plodding on i think to use the one two three pulse pattern that i made for the top blocks more effectively what i did is i selected a bunch of the squares that i have scattered around the swing copter and changed the numbers on the detail value from one two and three just to mix it up a little bit and make the blocks pulse at different times i know the outlines are still the same all the time but the actual detail on the inside, the flashing color is going to be different for every single block. Or different enough to the point where it's okay, you know? There's only three different variations. Some of the blocks are going to have that little line, some of them are going to have this ground spike where I can actually place it, which is usually the bottom because the top has blocks that I don't want to overlap with. Just need some air deco in between. Do I want to pulse the background here? I definitely could. Not that bright, jeez. That's insanely bright. Oh boy. This actually looks pretty good. I'm happy with this. We can probably add a bunch of slopes by adding one slope like so with a couple of blocks, making that color channel one and then putting glow along the edge and making that color channel two and then probably putting some sort of circle on three. It's not as fast as I would have hoped, but it'll, it'll do the trick, I think. We're making progress. What is a small 1.9 decoration object? This? Now we do the scaling thing. Hopefully. This is gonna work. I feel it. Back to one. Yes! It's still huge. Hold on. We can still get this to work. Down more. That's the size we need it, really. And we scale it back up to one right there. Awesome. Do I put one letter to each color? Make it a bit flashy. Because we're gonna be coming out of that huge transition, so the letters are gonna be colorful at that point. So I scale it down, and then I scale it all the way back up, so nothing actually cheats. And then we have an arrow. It's such a beautiful technique. Okay, I have an idea. I'm just gonna put bricks. Hopefully these go to the bottom of the level. Oh, that's horrible. They can go behind certain structures, but no blocks. Gotcha. I just have to be really careful with my placement. And after placing those final few bricks, we have the final version of the swing copter, which I admit is a bunch of different details just all slapped into the same part without really coordinating much, but I'm still pretty happy with the result. It's my first ever swing copter. It was painful to make, no clickbait, but yeah, the people that have played it say that the swing copter is actually fine and not that difficult, even though I died seven times at the end, but it's okay. It's a success in my book if people actually like the gameplay, so. Thank you for watching this Geometry Dash building video. Sorry it's a bit short. I had to squeeze a lot out of what I had, so hopefully it turned out fine in the end. Check the links in the description, leave a like and subscribe, and have a good day.